G'day everybody, and here's the Robinson clan. Ten Ted's new job at the boys' home in Salisbury, and probably many more. Today was the first day of the week, which is a great day for Ted, as his plan to open a boys' home finally happened, and he is also the he's also called in to check the site. Just to see if everything is above board. You see, Ted designed this boys' home with careful consideration that it ain't going to be easy to piece together a place that everybody would love to go if they have no parents through lack of support or losing their parents through death. And Ted thought if there's any kid who is lost like whether they are badly bruised from child abuse, well, well Ted likes to think that they will be looked after as well. And Ted isn't just a designer either. No, he, he is trying for a job as, at, as, at the boys' home as a counsellor, only because he has experience in the field and thought of helping kids who haven't got homes to go to is fulfilling for him. While Ted was in the car to go to the Salis Salisbury boys' home, Bobby and Harriet were at each other's throats about this schoolboy who, who arrived in Adelaide and was enrolled at Norwood Public. And Harriet said, this boy is so hot. And Bobby said, I think he's gay, sis. No, sis, he is definitely gay. And Harriet said, no, bro, he ain't gay. And Bobby said, did he say he wasn't gay? And Harriet said, no. But realistically, he said, chicky babe to me, which shows me he is straight. And Bobby said, he is cool. He said he calls the girls chicky babe to protect him from being gay bad. And Harriet said, Mum, can you tell me, can you tell Bob, can you, can you tell Bobby that my boyfriend isn't gay? And Margaret said, okay, whether this boy is gay or not, he is a person, not a piece of meat that you throw into, into hounds to stop them from biting you, buddy. And Margaret took her kids to school. And as they arrived, Harriet, despite what she, she and her mum said, said he is a gay, said he is gay. And when he walked up to her saying, hi, my name is Kenneth, or Kenneth is my name. Kenneth is my name. And Harriet said, hi, geek. Should I, or should I say, puffed up, geek, and went up to join her friends. And Kenneth said, why are you calling me a puff? Buddy, why are you calling me a puff? And Harriet said, no, you ain't gay. My bro was so determined that you were gay. And Kenneth said, even if I were gay, I would prefer to be called gay rather than a poofter. Actually, Harriet, you are a horrible, horrible person. And Harriet felt was left puzzled. Why was she spoken to like that? It was not her fault. Well, she should not have said poofter, but dude, Harriet hates the idea of being hated by hot guys like him over a silly misunderstanding that she Dealt, dealt with it. And Ted went to the Sailor Creek Boys Home site to show the plans to the construction team. And then the Adelaide Lord Mayor Mitchell Cox dug the first trench. And Felicity Gordon from Seven News interviewed Ted and Mitchell and also interviewed a passerby. And all the stuff said was very positive to the boys getting the boys home built. And Ted then laid plans on the table 
in the office to explain how he wants the boys' home to look. And then the site manager brought Ted to each corner of the site. And there at present wasn't any problem with this site. So the construction will go as planned. And Ted went back to the office. And, and that afternoon, Ted was given two, two places to design. First, a cafe in Cooper Pedy and a new apartment block at Norwood, about two kilometres down the road from where he lived. And Harriet, at the end of school, took Kenneth back to her house and they saw Harriet's mother, Margaret, cooking in the kitchen for the family tonight. And then Bobby came home and saw Harriet and Kenneth pashing on the lounge in front of Becca. And then Bobby um, quoted Becca. And Bobby said, just because I live alone and have no sex doesn't mean what you think it means. I'm doing fine. You see, before you say, let's not let him in here anymore. And Kenneth said, shut up, okay? I ain't gay, okay? You, you look gay. You look gay. And if you don't leave me alone, I will have you gay back whether you want it or not. And Bobby said, okay, I am sorry I said you were gay. But you have to admit, you look like a crazy person. And then Bobby went with that and left the room. And Kenneth said to Harriet, what a loser, hey? And Harriet said, he is a little brother. I actually look forward to the day that we can hunt them for sport. And at the end of the day, Ted went home with a fully packed briefcase with plans to design a cafe in Cooper Pedy and an apartment building in Norwood. In Norwood. And Ted had a look at, at the apartment building on his way home and went in to ask the manager who happened to look at the site but that was planned though he, he Ted had to see the site first like tomorrow and, and Ted was going up to Cooper Pedy to check out the cafe site and he had dinner with the family and went to his den to start work on the apartment building and the cafe and then went to bed and woke up at 4 a.m. to meet Tim Conway, who was in charge of the cafe site at Cooper Pedy. And Harriet went to school to meet Kenneth. And for now, it looked like a fairy tale that made them live happily ever after. And Bobby, who was scared of Kenneth, tried to fake a stomach ache so his mum would keep him away from school. But she didn't fall for it, so Bobby went to school and Ted met his mate at, in Cooper Pedy and looked over the site and showed the site manager his first draft and of, the, of the plans and he thought this was great. Well, everyone was happy, all except for Margaret, who had to cope with all the problems with the kids. The end. Well, that's the second episode of the um, Robinson clan. I'm sure the Robinsons are going to have a lot of problems with this business. Okay, catch up.